you please stand? Dearest friends and family, we are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts. In this ceremony, we will celebrate the joining of Shannon and Nathan. Shannon and Nathan, you have come together today so that the Lord may seal and strengthen you, your love, in the presence of God and this community. Christ abundantly blesses your love. He strengthens you so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and everlasting fidelity. A brief moment in time and the stroke of a pen are all that is required to create the legal bond of marriage, but it takes a lifetime of love, commitment, and compromise to make a marriage durable and everlasting. Shannon, Nathan, for you, out of the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. You met each other, fell in love, and are finalizing it with your ceremony today. Romance is fun, but true love is something far more, and it is your desire to love each other for life. And that is what we are celebrating here today. A good marriage is created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is standing together and facing the world. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each of you can grow and thrive. It is a common search for good and the beautiful in all things. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. Shannon and Nathan, I would ask that you always treat yourself and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you here today. You may be seated. Shannon and Nathan, give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your marriage deserves. When frustration and difficulty assail your marriage, as they do, as they do to every relationship at one time or another, focus on what still seems right between you and not only on the part that seems wrong. This way, when the clouds of trouble hide the sun in your lives and you lose sight of it for a moment, you can remember that the sun is still there. And if each of you will take responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and happiness. And now we come to the words Nathan and Shannon want to hear most today. A marriage, as most of us understand it, is a voluntary and full commitment. It is made in the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others, and it is entered into with the desire and hope that it will last for a lifetime. 
Shannon, Nathan, I now ask you two to share your vows. Nathan, if you please. We can just put it in the middle. Shannon, you are the love of my life, my best friend, and my soulmate. There's countless reasons for why I love you that could fill books and libraries. But it's a little warm out today, so I'm going to try giving the Cliff Note version. I love your passion, your determination, and your strength that you show in everything you do. Whether it's getting the kids ready for school, taking on leadership roles in community organizations, or through your work. You never show any hesitation in anything that you do. You always go full strength. I love your ability to always make everybody have fun, to throw the best parties ever, to never do anything extra at all. And most importantly, I love how fiercely you love our children. Our love together was solidified when we took our trip to Hawaii three years ago. I don't know if it was the Hawaii sun, the luau, or the, your irrational fear of sea turtles that they were going to eat your hair. But from that moment on, I knew that our love would last forever. We have already survived being teachers for one semester. We survived a once in a century pandemic. We survived a derecho, and I know that we can survive anything that comes our way. Today I promise to you to always give you the affirmations that you love to hear about my love for you. I promise to be a role model for our children. I promise to dress up at Christmas in whatever outfit you pick out. And most importantly, I, I promise to love and support you for the rest of my life. I love you so much. And Riley and Peyton, you come over here. Let's go stand by your sister. Riley and, Riley and Peyton, today is not just about your mom and I, but it is also about all of us coming together as a family. One of the biggest reasons that I feel so lucky to have met your mother was because it brought both of you into my life. And I've been so proud to see how much you've grown and uh, share in all of our adventures together. Ever since I had met your mother, one of the things that I admired most was how much she loved both of you and how much she loves London just as much. So as part of my vows to your mom, I'm also making these vows to you. I promise to always be there for both of you and support you in everything that you do. I promise to always be available and help with homework, whether it's in fifth grade, high school or college. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a dramatic pause, don't worry. See? Yeah, all right. I promise to help you both face all of your fears, to go on adventures with you. I promise to be available when you need to talk or when you need someone to listen to your bad jokes. Briley, I promise to be the best dan dance dad that I can be. And Peyton, I promise to be a positive role model in your life and help whenever you get stuck on any video game level. Fi finally, I promise to always love both of you for the rest of my life. Nathan, that was wonderful. And now we have a surprise for you. Oh. A special someone would like to share a few words with you. Um, I want to say that we really love you being in our family because you are so amazing and are really thankful to have you as our dad. I mean, you have been so helpful and caring. You 
play fun games with us. You are the best at picking up movies, making us feel extra loved at bedtime, and you push us to do our best in school. We could never imagine our lives without you. And guess what? What? Don't. We love you. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, you can't talk to the mic. There we go. You can go down. You go right ahead. Thank you. Now it's my turn. My dearest Nate. You came into my life when it was broken into a million pieces. And one by one, you helped me put it back together, more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. I have always been a strong, independent person who wanted to navigate this world alone until I met you. I will never forget when we first started dating and you told me the thing you loved most about me was my big brain. I knew from that day, you were my person. You are the kindest, gentlest, and sweetest person I have ever met. And even those words don't do you justice. You are my calm when I am frantic. You are my sweet when I am extra, extra spicy. You are forgiving when I am stubborn. And you are strong when I have absolutely nothing left to give. So here are my promises to you on this day and every day. I promise to ensure you know how much I appreciate you every single day. I, try to, I promise you I will try to use coupons when I buy things. <laughs> I can't always promise that. That's yeah, not going to happen. I promise to give you the most amazing life ever. Our love is better than any Disney fairy tale. And thank you for giving me our happily ever after. And now, Nathan and Shannon, it is time to say I do. Nathan, do you take Shannon to be your wife? to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until death do you part? I do. Shannon, do you take Nathan to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until death do you part? I do. And now for the exchanging of the rings. Peyton, may I have the rings? Shannon and Nathan, your wedding rings are the outward and visible sign of the inward and invisible bond which already unites your two hearts in love. Nathan, place this ring on Shannon's finger and repeat after me. Shannon, I give you this ring. Shannon, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I commit my heart and soul to you. I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring. I ask you to wear this ring. As a reminder of the vows we have taken today. As a reminder of the vows we have taken today. Shannon, will you place this ring on Nathan's finger and repeat after me? 
Nathan, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness as I place it on your finger I commit my heart and soul to you I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows we have taken today Lord Bless and consecrate Shannon and Nathan in their love for each other. May these rings be a symbol of their true faith in each other and always remind them of their love through Christ to God. Let us pray. God of love, bless the marriage of Shannon and Nathan. Surround their relationship and their home with an ever-growing love. May they always be aware of your presence and your care in their lives. And now, Shannon and Nathan, may the grace of Christ attend you, the love of God surround you, and the Holy Spirit keep you. Amen. At this time, I have a few announcements. After our ceremony, guests are invited to the East Bank venue for a cocktail hour, live music, and a magical surprise for the children, with the reception to follow. The address to the venue is located in your program. Parking will be available in front of the building and in nearby parking lots. And now, through God's grace and by the power vested in me by the great state of Iowa, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Nathan, you may kiss your bride. Uh -huh. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you the happy couple, Mr. and Mrs. Nathan and Shannon Schrader. Oh, come on, Landon. Hey, hey. Come on, bud. There she go. There you go. Ready? You got it. Ready? All right, let's go, bud. <laughs> 